What's going on guys? Back again with a bit of an update video on my £100,000 challenge. Um, probably picked the worst time in human history to have started this challenge with the current pandemic going on and everyone in lockdown, the economy halted and uh, what can you do? You just have to keep going. But um, I'll do my best. I'll give you a bit of an update on the challenge. Um, if you haven't watched my previous video and you've just joined us now, then it might be a good idea to go back and look at the previous video. Obviously, if you watch it as well, then I get more views on that other video. I might get a like as well. I might get another subscriber. We might hit 31 subscribers. You never know. This Anything can happen, guys. This is, sent, this is insane times. <laughs> but yeah, basically, the reason I'm doing this challenge is I got made redundant in the, at the end of March, at the end of February, um, into March. I did the first video sort of start of March. It's now the start of April, and this is my sort of month on update video. In the first video, I detailed a few things that I've got going on in the in the background. So, I had a design engineering services company set up, which I was running alongside my full time job, doing a bit of part time contract work, freelancing. My first plan when I got made redundant and the company that I used to work for went insolvent, uh, my first plan was to essentially go full time on this or try and build as much work as possible to just keep me ticking over. And then in the meantime, I can use any profits that I gained from that company to reinvest into more sort of passive and more scalable sources of income because the great thing about that design services company is if I work and I bill the hours, then I get paid. But obviously I'm exchanging my time for money as opposed to making my money work for me. And then I can scale it higher. For example, if you're selling a product, you can sell that product a thousand times or a million times. And that's where your money goes. Or if you invest it and it's going to compound all that sort of thing. And I'll go into this more and more as this channel develops and my videos maybe get a little bit more credible than they are at the moment because like, these are pretty shoddy videos at the start i'm getting into it give me a bit of a chance hit me a subscribe and a like i think that helps the algorithm and it might show my video to more people as well which would be great gone off track again to it so yes the design engineering services company that i'd set up part-time i went all in on that as I got made redundant in the hope that I maybe would book enough hours to sort of pay my mortgage, pay my bills and give me a little bit of money. Um, I essentially took on loads of work and I was shocked, but I was really busy. I booked like just over five grand in my first month full time doing it, which is unreal to be fair. Um, obviously coronavirus and the lockdown has since capped that massively, but it, it is still trickling along. Some of the companies that I'm working for are on a reduced staff, on a reduced working load, but I'm still do it, picking up bits and bobs of design work, which is great. Um, but obviously now with lockdown on, arguably I've got a lot more time to create content, um, try out some of the different stuff that I was talking about in the other video, and also try and scale some of the other businesses that I've got going on. So I mentioned that I also have an Amazon company with my mate. Um, so we essentially sell our own products on Amazon and we sell products for other companies as well. And then we run that as like a management launch um, advertising marketing service. So some people, when you think about these marketing agencies, most people will charge a flat fee to the company every month, which is great. Um, but at the same time, where you have, if you haven't got any experience, you haven't got any business, if you, if you haven't got any current business or clients or companies that you're working for, then it can actually help to approach it the way that we did. So we have got one major client at the moment, but in the last month we've managed to book another company. So we've got another product coming on. The product has got three variations, so we're in the process of creating all the images, the infographics, the product descriptions, 
titles, everything to go on Amazon, and then we'll launch that product. I'll take you through a bit of the process of what we do, why we do it, launching the product, like market research, what keywords to use, how to sort of rank and all that sort of thing. So if you're into Amazon FBA and you're potentially thinking about doing that business or you're currently in the business, then it might be interesting to watch. So drop me a comment if you want to see that or anything specifically you want to ask me about because I'll be very happy to have any engagement and help anyone or get involved with anything. But yeah. So we've taken on another company, another client, and they're gonna give us one product to start off with, which has got three variations, which we're currently gonna launch. So we've actually agreed a four pound commission for every sale that we make on that product. So obviously the first month or two, when we're doing all of this work up front, we're not making any money. It's literally all our risk to us, me and my mate, but to the company, it's no risk to them. But down the line, when the sales build up, we'll be getting a lot, hopefully, we'll be getting a lot more than other companies that would potentially be charging a flat rate. So it's really how you want to play it. Um, but if you think that the product is scalable and you can negotiate a good commission on each product sale, then I'd actually say that it's potentially better. But it's up to you guys. I'll talk about this in different different videos if you want me to. Other than that, not a lot's really been going on. I've been trying to smash some home workouts. Um, I live with two of my mates, managed to get a bit of a trim. I won't even take me out off now. Jesus, that's wasteful. To be fair to him, he did a cracking job. This was about a week ago he did my hair. It was actually proper decent. Um, did it with a pair of beard trimmers and actually faded it well, but um, I've, I might even do another home work. If you want me to do any home workout videos or anything like that, I mentioned in the pro last video that I've got a digital ebook and a fitness website, which I'll leave the link down below again, if you want to check it out. So I do know a lot about fitness, muscle building, fat loss, and I'm going to currently go through a bit of a fat loss stage. All the gyms are shut in the UK. Well, most of them around, well, all of them in my local area are shut. We've got a few little bits of equipment like resistance bands, um, a pull-up bar and some dip bars. So we're really just making the most out of these sort of workouts. I know this is slightly off topic from the £100,000 challenge video, but essentially I'm just trying to work out what sort of audience you got, what, what you guys want to see. Um, I'm just telling you stuff that I sort of know about and doing. And if you drop me a comment and let me know, oh, can you, can you talk about this? Can you do this? Can you do this? Then I'll just do it. I'll literally just do it. So I'll respond to you guys. So let me know what you want to think. I know this video is a bit of a off the wall, me chatting, and I'm going to try and develop more sort of decent content with other stuff than me just sat on this sofa talking. The other thing that I was going to talk about, which I have talked about very briefly in some of my comparable videos about um, can you make money buying classic cars? And I compared it to the average stock market return and stuff like that. I am I am invested in the stock market and it is something that I take quite a serious interest in. Always checking the markets, looking for opportunities, different strategies for investing, all that sort of stuff. And given the current economic climate, the uncertainty with coronavirus, where everything's going to go, the market's incredibly volatile now. And there are some opportunities and bargains starting to emerge on the stock market. We have had a bottom, whether we retest that bottom or whether this is now just going to return back to the standard highs that we were seeing previously in February, we don't know. I'm going to do another couple of videos talking about this. I might do some going over my current portfolio, why I bought the stocks that I did, how well they performed for me, what I'm thinking about in the future, what I'm going to be investing in next. I might run this separate to the 100k challenge because this is probably something a bit more long term and something that you guys might be interested in. But if you are, hit me, a, let me know, let me know about it. As I said, I'll do what you guys want me to do. That's it. I'm signing out. So I'll speak to you again soon. And thanks a lot, guys. Hit subscribe, hit like, hit follow. 
Let me know what you thought and I'll see you soon. Brilliant. Cheers.